Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us for this Wednesday edition of News Channel 5's Midday. I'm Mark Hamblin. New at noon today, heavy rain is causing some major flooding and a messy commute for some folks in Sinlaw. And here is uh, Sarah Black with the latest on the uh, wet weather. Yeah. We continue to see a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity primarily across the eastern third of the state of Louisiana. Not a whole lot of rainfall really from Alexandria off towards the west. Here's a look at Skyward 5 Live Doppler. Still some heavy precipitation up around Faraday. Natchez, which has already received at least six inches of precipitation down through both Catahoula and Concordia parishes. Of course, uh, Voiles Parish continuing to get hard. They remain under a flash flood warning until 2 o'clock this afternoon. We do have some reports from some viewers in Simsport. Already 7.5 inches there, Mansura 5.5 inches. But you notice here at the station, only 5 hundredths of an inch of precipitation since midnight of last night. We've really missed out on the rain, but temperature right now of 81 degrees. We'll be talking more about where this rain is headed and when it might be getting out of here a little bit later on. Mark? All right, thanks, Sarah. Before we get to the road closures, we have some breaking news concerning Avoyles Parish Schools. Now, the Avoyles Parish School Board has decided to close schools as a result of the flooding there. Avoyles Parish Elementary Schools will be closed today at 1.30. Avoyles Parish High Schools closing at 2 o'clock. No decision has been made about tomorrow. Once again, these closings only pertain to Avoyles Parish. Thanks to heavy rain from Tropical Depression Number 5, residents of Avoyles Parish had a tough commute this morning. The Avoyles Parish Sheriff's Office tells us that uh, Leglise Street in Mansura has two to three feet of water on it. Highway 114 between Mansura and Hesmer is experiencing some flooding also. And Highway 107 in Plosheville also has some high water on it. There's also widespread flooding on some parish roads. Now in the town of Cottonport, Overnight, they experienced over six inches of rain. The chief of police there says the roads are flooded but passable at this time. Sheriff's officials say that they have responded to numerous calls to help motorists who have slid off the road into ditches. They say that if you uh, do not need to travel, please, please stay off the roadway. And Avoyles Paris was saturated by rain earlier today. Viewers have been sending us their photos of all this flooding. These pictures come to us from Avoyles Parish, and you can see water a few inches high covering yards and uh, flooding homes. As always, we want to hear from you. Send us your photos at news at KALB.com. You can also log on to our website at KALB.com for the latest on the flooding and how it will impact your commute. Now, joining us now on the phone to talk a little bit about the flooding is the mayor of Mansura, Kenneth uh, Pickett. Uh, Kenneth, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Well, Kenneth, it's 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 been a rough uh, rough morning for uh, Mansura, huh? Yes, sir, it has. With the with the widespread uh, rain we've been receiving, Bayou Lacombe, our main is drainage through the town is flooding, which in the event has uh, have several of our streets flooded. Now, Kenneth, on the phone earlier, you were telling me that the rain that y'all have had this morning is worse than uh, what happened during uh, Hurricane Gustav. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's much worse because we have a widespread flooding in some of these areas uh, that hadn't flooded uh, for several years now. So it has been uh, quite a quite a flood. And most of Mansura has been flooded. Is yes, sir. We have uh, Bayou Lacombe is full, Leglaire Street, Coco Street, Saint Jean Street, Escadet Street, Regard Street, Lord Road, Mary Street, and Saint Philip Street. And uh, Kenneth, uh, any words of advice you want to give to, uh, to the citizens of uh, Mansura right now? Yeah, I'd just like to ask the citizens to just everyone try to stay in their homes unless it's absolutely necessary for them to come out. Uh, the town of Mansura will be working around the clock to try to get to help any passengers who may be stalled out. And uh, any information they need, they can call me at 964-2153 or the Mansura Police Department at 964-2120. Oh, Kenneth Pickett, the mayor of Mansura. Ke Kenneth, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for having me, sir. All right. Well, uh, rain or shine, kids in Rapids Parish is now, and for a lot of people or some people here in central Louisiana, it's been a wet uh, Wednesday. It has been an incredibly wet yeah. Wednesday. I've gotten some reports of at least 10 and a half inches uh, falling across portions of Avoyles Parish around Alexandria. We've barely yeah. seen a trace. We've got so lucky. We really did get lucky, but unfortunately some other people not so lucky. No. We'll take a full look at that local radar in a few more minutes, but first here's a look at your outdoors forecast starting at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. 
now, your most accurate storm team forecast. And welcome back early on this Wednesday afternoon. Sky 15 Live Dial are continuing to show plenty of precipitation again, mainly across the eastern portion of the state and on into West Mississippi at this moment. Natchez and Faraday, they're seeing a lot of rainfall at the moment already, over six inches being reported just over the river. Of course, uh, Voiles Pair seeing just a ton of rainfall, some areas picking up over 10 and a half inches so far. Anywhere from Highway 1 down to Highway 71, even uh, I-49 seeing a lot of precipitation down towards Opelousas and Highway 190 stretching back off towards the west. Around Alexandria, though, we have only seen a few light rain showers throughout the evening and into the early morning hours, but our rain chances will still be fairly high all across central Louisiana for the remainder of this afternoon, eventually diminishing just a little bit, however, as we get on into the evening hours. 86 degrees expected by 3 o'clock, 82 by 7, then temperatures down to around 79 a little bit later on. We're seeing a very wide array of temperatures out here. 82 degrees right now in the city of Alexandria, 75 over in Natchez. Of course, that is a rain cold temperature. But check out Shreveport where they haven't seen the clouds nor have they seen the rainfall already up to 93 degrees at the noontime hour. Another rain cold 78 degrees being reported down in Lafayette. Another check of the radar, this time in motion, and you see all these showers and occasional thunderstorms spinning right around that low pressure system. Of course, that was at one point tropical depression number five. Now, that was last week. It actually did not regain tropical characteristics as it moved inland about 24 hours ago. Currently, the center of that low is located right around waterproof Louisiana, which is just to the north of Fairday. You see, again, a lot of rain showers around Natchez and stretching back over towards the Voiles Parish as well. With this system moving very, very slowly and the upper level winds are very, very light, therefore it's not in a big hurry to move off towards the north and the northeast. We're seeing what we call training where the rainfall moves over the same area again and again and that only helps to make the problem worse because we continue to see some very high rainfall amounts. This is a radar estimate of just how much rainfall has come down in the last 24 hours. You see all these pink colors pretty much covering up of Oils Parish. Radar estimates anywhere from 10 to about 12 inches, and that is lining up with what viewers are calling to tell us that they have seen in their rain buckets. Around the city of Alexandria, though, we've only seen about a half an inch to an inch of precipitation. Looking at a little bit wider scope right now, there is more rain showers off towards our south. All of these will be moving northward a little bit later on. We've also got more upper level energy currently located over Dallas. That is expected to swing in later on tonight and by tomorrow to keep us with pretty good rain chances as we begin to wrap up this work week. Of course, we've got a lot of tropical moisture here at home checking out the tropics. No activity for the time being. However, a lot of the computer models are indicating that we will be seeing a significant spike in our tropical development over the next one to two weeks. Definitely something to watch for there. Watching here is that low pressure system eventually works its way into northern Mississippi, but still Vipercast indicating a lot of rain showers across central Louisiana by tomorrow afternoon and heavy rainfall will still be a possibility. For today, afternoon highs anywhere from the middle 80s to the lower 90s in those areas that really haven't seen a lot of cloud cover, nor have they seen a lot of rain showers. Temperatures will be in the lower 90s up around Natchitoches. I do think we will return to the lower 90s area wide by tomorrow. Still though about a 50 to a 60 percent chance of precipitation. High pressure though moves back in by the weekend. Call us at Weatherline. There is your number 442-1110. And for our friends in Avoyles Parish it has been a uh, miserable It has been a very Wednesday. very rough morning. You know when I woke up at three it was just one little cluster of mm -hmm. thunderstorms and then it grew and it grew and it grew and uh, unfortunately now people are seeing around 10 to 12 inches and it's still coming down mm -hmm. and it looks like they'll can add to that later on this and, afternoon. Yeah we'll have more on it during our we later will, newscast. Five, six, and ten. All right. Thanks, Sarah. And uh, here at uh, KALB, we're ready for the football season. Before we go, the Avoyles Parish School Board has decided to close schools as a result of the flooding there. Avoyles Parish Elementary Schools will be closing today at 1.30. Avoyles Parish High School will be closing, or Avoyles Parish High Schools will be closing at 2 o'clock. No decision has been made about tomorrow. Once again, these closings only pertain to Avoyles Parish. And here's a look at Sky 15 Live Doppler. A lot of rainfall still coming down across the Voiles Parish. Some of the heaviest precipitation now over Bunky. Also some heavy rainfall up around Natchez and also Faraday. Good rain chances later on today. All right. Thanks, Sarah. That'll do it for Wednesday's midday. Hope everyone has a good afternoon.